Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting these. Not a clue what all this stuff is. So what we're going to do is just paint. See how we get on. So first off, what I want to do is, oops, Drakenhof Nightshade. Bear with me, bear with me. And that's going to go on this door. And this is going to be the blue colour. Well, this is going to be, be the blue colour door that we're going to use eventually. I just want to make sure that I've got the indents around the edge covered so I can see where I'm working and then we're going to be painting some of the stuff on the actual shelves while we're waiting for this to dry um, now this is going to be a long video so I may, and I repeat may, actually um, do this as a two-parter. I'm not sure yet. It depends on how long it is. Um, I didn't mention that in the one for the office tables that I did. But I think I may. I've not got around to editing that yet. So that one may, as far as I know, be a two-parter as well I'm not sure <laughs> but that's that for that one and next we're going to have some caribou crimson and that's going to be on the doors on the other one and that's going to be for the uh, orange doors but we're doing it with crimson first off just as I say well, I can see where I'm working first for the main reason and secondly it gives it a nice base to work on you've got the shadows already built into it then um, I probably should have done this for the other things but yeah what the heck so that's it for that cupboard door and now this cupboard door there we are. so while we're watching this one I will be doing fast forwards quite a bit when there's anything repetitive that's on the go um, and I'll do it without actually um, let you know first off so in future I'm not going to say when it's going to come, be coming because that seems like a silly thing to do. I'm just going to break when when I can when in editing because you know one thing I don't want to do is make these videos boring. So there we are. First off, going into the blue. I'm going to paint this down here. Um, and then on the back, we have these two panels that we're going to do exactly the same way. As you can tell, I'm not really too bothered about making tonal differences with these blues. The cupboard doors are going to be touched regularly, so I want them looking a bit more grimier than these. And that's my theory behind it anyway. Um, so we have... 
rats done and dusted. Next off, I better shut that caribou crimson before I knock it over. Um, the blue that I've used, you, you know by now what it is, but it's a mixture of the... Um, where have you gone? It's a mixture of the Stormhost Silver and the Colador Sky. The orange is a mixture. The orange that we'll be using next is a mixture of the Mithril Silver, Troll Slayer Orange and the little spots of Evil Suns. You saw me mix these up in an earlier video. If you didn't, um, I can't remember which video it was that I did it on. I think it was the tables, um, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to do exactly the same thing here that I did with the blue. Now, they should have dried. I'm going to go around. Oh, that's all dried up. Right, so what I need is um, Starship exterior. We'll put some fresh over here. And some. So it's. Star, spaceship exterior, sorry, and Stormhost Silver. So I'll get some of this, flap it down there, and mix that in with it. Okay, and I'm going to paint the underside. here with that mix like so I'm also going to paint the underside of there And make a little triangle of it on that section, and then oh, I didn't realize they were um, put out as well. So I'm going to go back into the blue in a second. do the uh, what you call it and do those little lines and then I'm going to do the same thing with the orange
Okay, so that's the orange done and the blue done. So I'm going to now go back to that dark greyish white and go back and start doing the undersides of those shelves. Um, this won't take long to do. I'm actually going to just paint the home of the sides of the shelf and as you can see even these being a fairly chunky piece of terrain you know they have the still have the floors and but I can't honestly see those being um, the correct shape. I'm going to go over these blue with the dark grey just to dull that particular colour down a bit more. I've gone over that with the grey where I don't want it to be, so I'll get some more blue. There we are. That will do. Now the doors seem to be um, dry, but I'm not going into them yet because what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more white into this mix and put the white there I also want to add some water into it as well and for this I'm going to go over these areas because they are in um, in light To do is add a touch of white into that mix and the white we're using your always white scar I just want to make it a bit brighter than what's there and 
to put quite a bit in because it's not a very thick paint. And we're going to go over the top of the drawers with this, not drawers, the top of the cupboard, shelving unit with this. There we are. So that's that done. And with this. we go next <coughs> there is a color we mixed earlier which was used using the dark stone the commodore sky and a little bit of the red color that's this weird brownish colour and this we use for racks like this so I'm going to paint these that are on the shelf So what I want to do is a wash of um, a diluted wash, but I've changed my mind on how I wanted to do it. Um, I'm just going to get some water onto the wet part and bring a little black into it and quite a lot of this. And see whether very pale grey wash no very pale grey wash like this would would work with what I want to do. Let's see, shall we? <clears throat> there we go. And once this is on, we can I'm going to go over it again with some white now I'm not sure as to whether or not it will work but it can but try This is an interesting little experiment I want to try. As I say, I'm not good at um, I'm 
I'm not very good at what you call it. Um, painting white on things. Once it's on, once it's on, I don't know where to go with it. <laughs> so <coughs> I tend not to paint white on a lot of minis. And I thought I'd experiment here with these. So we have a Those dry. <clears throat> Let's see how it looks. Right, next thing we're going to do. <clears throat> 